It's time for a career boost and you need a college degree. But those cost like $51,000 and take four to six years to complete, right? Well, thank goodness there's about a zillion ads out there from Capella and Phoenix University telling you exactly where to spend your money. Well, I'm here to say that you can do a whole lot better than those guys. And this video is my 2023 list of the best online colleges for busy adults like you who wanna graduate college quickly and inexpensively so that they can build careers that they love. And if you like what you see, sign up for a consultation with my team at the link in the description. We often help people graduate for right around an average of $8,000 and in somewhere between 12 to 18 months. That being said, let's start with some honorable mentions. University of the People is a great school because it is tuition free. You still have to pay money for assessments, but you don't have to pay anything for the classes. And it is great for people outside of the US, but not so good for US citizens because it's not regionally accredited to here yet. Excelsior University and Charter Oak State College used to be part of the big three hackable colleges, basically code for graduating college quickly and inexpensively using alternative forms of credit. But these days they're a little bit harder to hack and they're not as focused on students who wanna graduate super quickly. What is really cool about both of them is that they accept a ton of transfer credits and require very few credits be done with them. So if you've got just like 120, 150 college credits from previous attempts, these might be good options for you. And the globals, we've got University of Maryland Global, Colorado State University Global, UMass Global, and Purdue Global University are all pretty hackable and affordable, but they each have weird requirements for admissions or there are certain types of hacking credit they don't play nicely with. Usually they're, they're like 70% good, but have just something weird that makes it inaccessible for a lot of people. Of all of these, Purdue Global University's Excel track is one of my favorites because they offer tech, healthcare, and business, the three big money makers and online degrees. It's just that to get in, you have to already have some college credit and have work experience. All seven of our honorable mentions are very much worth considering and might be the perfect fit for some of you out there, but the colleges I'm about to tell you about in our top five list are absolute superstars of quickness and inexpensiveness, and they're so much better than the for-profits you're getting a ton of ads for. And they're all regionally accredited, which means that these degrees are legit. Tied at number five, we have Liberty University Online and Franklin University. Both of these schools are about average cost, have a ton of degrees to choose from, and are desperate to transfer in as many of your transfer credits as they can. What do I mean by that? Well, they accept all five of the big hacking types of credits, Sophia, Straighter Lines, Study.com, CLEP, and DSST. They assess credit, they're willing to assess credit from nationally accredited universities, which are like slightly less legit schools in the United States, and they have internal systems like portfolio or exams where they will assess your knowledge that you already have from your work experience and maybe even give you college credit for that. They each average about $400 per credit hour. So if you max out your transfer, the full 90 credits, and you're only doing 30 credits at these schools, you're going to spend about $12,000 on tuition plus fees, which very reasonable. And if you're military, these schools might actually be a top three school for you because they give phenomenal discounts to military students on their tuition. And did I mention that they have a ton of degrees to choose from? Franklin University has 39 degrees to choose from. Some are a little bit similar, like there's a lot of very business focused ones, but they actually have some really unique stuff too, like entrepreneurship, communications, American education studies, and, and so much more here. Liberty University is even bigger with just so many different degrees to choose from. The biggest complaint people tend to have about these schools is their generic approach to online education, where basically like most other online schools, they just have eight week terms, you have homework deadlines or papers or tests due every single week, and you just kind of plod your way on through. It's not bad, it's not exciting, it's basically just the standard, and it can leave a lot of students feeling a little bit isolated from classmates because other than some discussion boards or getting grading notes or emails from a professor, you don't really have a lot of human interaction. On the other hand, some people really like the weekly accountability where they're trying to hit deadlines and somebody is reminding them about them. Apart from that, their graduation rates hover around one third, and that might be standard or average for online schools, but you really kind of want to see a school hitting like 40% for it to be one of the like, like more quality ones. 
partially because that shows a more engaging educational experience and maybe better customer service. Despite all of that, if you went to either one of these schools with zero credit starting from scratch and you did it the college hacked way, you could spend as little as $15,000 and graduate somewhere between one and two years from when you started. And of course, if you transfer in a bunch of credits, it could be much quicker than that. Western Governors University is a monster. They've got over 150,000 online students, so they're incredibly popular, and they have a graduation rate of over 50%, which really makes them stand out. And this is because they approach college different. Basically, you pay for a certain amount of time, uh, like for this degree, $3,600 essentially for a six-month term, and then you jump into some classes based on what's in your degree plan. They give you videos to watch, they give you homework to read, and at the end, when you feel like you're ready, you take a final assessment. Sometimes that's a test, sometimes it's a project. And if you pass that, you get that college credit. So there's no deadlines, and it's completely self-paced which leaves you free to take as many courses as you can in that six month period. Busy adults love the system because no deadlines means it's flexible to their schedule. You can go as fast as you want, which means you could you know, graduate in as little as a year. I'm sure there's some people out there who have done it in six months and you can spend so little money to get it done. Their healthcare degrees cost $4,200 per six months, uh, but let's just say it averages out to somewhere around $3,800. That means that you're spending about $21 per day for college, which is nothing. And then there's the degrees to choose from. We've got business, we've got IT, we've got healthcare, and we have education, which means we've got society's three current big money makers plus education. And there are all sorts of different versions of these degrees, so you can really specialize on something that you're excited about. But WGU has four primary weaknesses. Number one, people tend to really not like their final assessments for exams. They're all proctored and are pretty much universally considered a hassle. And two, their degrees don't have free electives, so it's a lot harder to transfer in credits from even cheaper places or from like a previous degree that you attempted. If you've got upper level psychology credits, good luck finding a place for them to fit into one of these degrees. Three, they don't accept international students, so if you're not from the US, this isn't even an option. And then four, they only really have four fields to choose from. So if you want something like criminal justice or something with a little bit more of a humanities approach or graphic design or whatever, you're straight out of luck. I like to think of WGU as kind of a college hacking degree that doesn't require a lot of hacking. Basically, they're so cheap already and they're competency based so you can go as fast as you want. It's like a more expensive version of Sophia credits. Now there are quicker, cheaper ways to do college like we talk about in this website, like we talk about in this video here. But if you wanted to keep things simple, WGU is simple. So at the end of the day, if you were starting from scratch, I would estimate you'd be finishing WGU for somewhere between eight and $16,000 in one to two years, depending on how you go about it. Southern New Hampshire University is basically Franklin University or Liberty University Online, but cheaper, much cheaper. Like the other two schools, they're very transfer friendly, they have a ton of degrees to choose from, and they love all of the big types of hacking credit which means you could be taking as few as 30 credits at SNHU, but the difference is that instead of those credits costing around $400, they're only gonna cost 320, a 20% cost decrease. This means that you can graduate from SNHU in the same amount of time, one to two years, for about $11,000, depending on the type of major you choose. And, and that's a caveat I should give with all of these. The more technical or specific your type of major is, the longer it'll take. But if you're just doing something like business or psychology or general studies, yeah, I mean, it's going to be pretty inexpensive. As for negatives, it's basically just like LUO or Franklin, 33% graduation rate. They have a very generic approach to education, and it's easy for students to get lost in the machinery. But despite all of that, SNHU is currently one of my favorite schools to recommend. I would even, in some cases, put it at number two on this list instead of number three, just because number two, yes, is more hackable, but is a lot more complicated to hack. SNHU comparatively is simple, lots of degrees to choose from, and a really incredibly reasonable price. Thomas Edison State University is an amazing school. It's actually where I got my bachelor's degree back in 2012. You can see a little certificate that they gave me back when I graduated. Uh, the diploma's 
around here somewhere. Uh, but they're a super cool school. They have a 48% graduation rate. And even though they've had some policies change that make it so that you have to spend a little more and take a little bit more time there, essentially less hacking friendly, they are still an awesome school and one of the best places you can choose, if you don't mind a little bit of complication. First off, they've got a great selection of degrees to choose from, uh, from business to computers to nursing to all sorts of stuff, and including one of the best liberal arts lists that you'll find at any of these schools that we've talked about. If you're looking for a classical education, these guys have it. Second, they accept all of the big five hacking credits, so they're a little bit cagey about what they accept from Sophia, so it's a little bit harder to predict, but not impossible and they have their own internal versions of assessing credit for you, whether it's their CLEP-like TSEP exams or their internal portfolio process to get you credit for work experience. Third, while you are required to do 30 credits or 25% of the degree at Thomas Edison, which is pretty standard across the board, only 16 of those credits have to be courses and the other 14 can be their much cheaper, much quicker TSEP exams. But fourth, their pricing system is really weird. You can pay for a bulk 12 credit semester um, for about $5,000, and it's possible to knock out 16 credits in that term, uh, and you probably want to, because if you don't, you're gonna be spending $535 per credit hour, which is actually really expensive. Which leads into my fifth point, that their semesters are 12 weeks long, which means that they're gonna be a little bit less dense, ostensibly less homework per week, which means you can take more classes at a time, which means you can take more advantage of that bulk pricing. Basically, Thomas Edison can be hyper efficient and, and cheaper and quicker than SNHU, but it's gonna be a little bit more work intense for those 12 weeks, and that kind of efficiency is only gonna work with certain degrees that have the TSEPs to be able to replace those 14 credits. Because if you end up taking 30 credits through Thomas Edison, now we're looking at at least $10,000 in tuition for two full 12 week terms. And as a side note, if you transfer in a ton of credits, then you can pay $3,300 to waive that residency requirement, which is a weird thing, don't get me started, but essentially making it so that you really could take as few as only six credits through Thomas Edison and then graduate even faster. So in sum, if you took the Thomas Edison route with, with zero transfer credits, you could be paying as little as $7,000 and taking as little as nine to 18 months to finish up. The University of Maine at Presque Isle's online program has one weakness, but it's amazing in literally every other way. UMPI does have traditional eight week long term online degrees, just like a lot of these other guys. But what really makes them stand out is that their your pace program is competency based, just like WGU, except you're only paying $1,400 for an eight week term. So it's, it's a slightly higher premium that comes out to about $25 a day, but because they accept so much hacking credit and because their degrees are so incredibly flexible, you can transfer in tons of cheaper credit and quicker credit from other places you really end up spending so much less and graduate so much quicker. I've literally got a video with a guy who finished 33 credits in eight weeks with UMPI, essentially meaning that his credits cost him like $42 a piece, which that's insane. And these guys accept a ton of transfer credit. Not only can you use the big five hacking credit options, which we talk about in this video, to fill up large portions of the gen eds and even some of the major areas, but they have big free elective sections. Just look at this degree. It's one of their Chipotle degrees, which I talk about in another video, essentially meaning that you get to build the degree yourself. It's Bachelor of Liberal Studies with a management minor. You've got 40 credits of very transferable general education. So if you've taken classes before, chances are a lot of them will fit in here. An 18 credit minor, and then 62 credits of electives. In fact, I had a client with over 90 transfer credits uh, from previous school experience. He sent them in, UMPI accepted almost all of them, and then this guy had only 30 credits left to go. He knocked it out in under eight weeks and was graduated. Of course, the big problem with UMPI is that they only have six majors to choose from, or, or 14 if you count the specializations. They've got accounting, business, criminal justice, history slash political science, English, and then liberal studies. Of course, I keep my ear to the ground. There might be some more majors coming out soon. Who knows? And as for course experience, students tend to be really excited about it. Now, because it's competency-based, you have even less interaction with other humans. So if you're a social person or you want to have discussions, 
not the degree for you. But if you're looking to go fast, it's completely self-paced and the final projects are not proctored, which means they tend to be projects or essays or presentations that you film rather than tests. And you essentially get two attempts on every single one. You send in a first attempt that gets some feedback and then you have a chance to send in your final attempt, which will actually be graded. All told, this degree could cost you as little as $2,400, though it, it could go up to as much as like maybe $6,600. And most people are gonna graduate from here within six to 15 months. That doesn't mean it's the right fit for everybody, some of these schools might be a better fit for you based on your goals, but UMPI is an is a awfully wonderful college for busy adults. And a final piece of advice for you is that these rankings are based on me and my team working with tons of different adults wanting to go back to school, get that degree so they can build a career they love. But the thing we've learned and the thing that we hope we have made very clear to our clients is that the final decision maker has to be you. You need to pick a school that is going to help you accomplish your long-term goals. And in the end, it's all about backwards planning. So make sure that you're doing your research and picking wisely. And if you wanna speed up that research process and work with a professional college hacking consultant, sign up for a consultation with my team at the link in the description. We'd love to get you graduated and I guarantee you, we can help you get there pretty quickly and pretty inexpensively. Thanks for watching and happy hacking.